Today we are going to discuss about CAM profile. At the end of this video, you will be able to draw displacement diagram and CAM profile for flat face follower with uniform velocity. So welcome to my YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's see the description of the problem. Draw the profile of a CAM operating flat face follower from the following data. Follower lifts through 40 mm during 60 degree rotation. That means this is the stroke length or you can see lift of the stroke. This is the ascent angle. The follower remains at rest for next 30 degree rotation. That means dwell period. Next, the follower then descend to its original position. That means this is the descent angle. The follower remains at rest for the rest of revolution. The least radius of the cam is 50 mm. The motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity. The line of the stroke of the follower passes through the axis of the cam shaft. So this is the description and based on that, I have written over here the data in the summarized form. So here I have written remaining dwell as 210 degree and you can find this angle by subtracting the 60, 30 and 60 from the 360 degree. So you will get as 210 degree. So now first of all, let's start the displacement diagram. Draw the horizontal line with random length. Then follower stroke is given to you as 40 mm. So take height as a 40 mm. And then once again draw the horizontal line. Now first mark the outstroke as 60 degree on this line. And for that you have to take the scale. And generally you can take the scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree. And so that the length of the outstroke is 6 centimeter. Then Next dwell is 30 degree. That means the length of the dwell is 3 centimeter. Next return stroke is 60 degree. So the length of the return stroke is 6 centimeter. And remaining dwell as 210 degree. That means the length of this dwell is 21 centimeter. But you can't accommodate it. And so that you can use this symbol. Now divide out stroke into the 6 equal part with the help of the scale and give the name as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Through the vertical line passing through all these points. Similarly, you can do for the return stroke. That means divide this return stroke into the 6 equal part. Give the name as 0 dash, 1 dash up to 6 dash. Draw the vertical line passing through all these points. Next, here uniform velocity for both outstroke and return stroke is given to you. And so that you have to draw the straight inclined line for both outstroke and return stroke. So here, first follower lift and then dwell period and then once again come to its original position that means return and then once again the follower is in dwell period so straight horizontal line for the dwell period and straight incline line for the outstroke and return stroke for uniform velocity now mark the intersection point and give the name as a b c D, E, F. Similarly, mark the intersection point for the return stroke and give the name as G, H, I, J, K, L. So this is your displacement diagram. Now start the cam profile. And for that, randomly select any one point and give the name as O. Draw the vertical line passing through this O point as a center line. Then draw the circle with radius as a minimum cam radius of 50 mm. 
that is called as the base circle. Then flat face follower is given to you and so they drew this symbol of the flat face follower over here. And now in the description the direction of the cam rotation is not mentioned. So you can assume it in the clockwise direction and so that you have to take this angle in the anti-clockwise direction that means opposite to the rotation of the cam from this reference line. So first 60 degree, then 30 degree, then 60 degree and then remaining dwell as 210 degree. And you can draw this angle with the help of the protector. Now divide this outstroke into the six equal part with the help of the protector. And mark the intersection point with this base circle as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, divide the return stroke into the six equal parts with the help of the protector and give the intersection point as 0 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. And this number must be the same as you have given in the displacement diagram. Now next step, with the help of the compass, set the radius as 1a and draw the arc on this line with center 1 with the help of the compass and so that you can locate the A point. Similarly, with the help of the compass, transfer this distance to B on this line. Next, transfer this distance 3C on this line. Similarly, transfer this 4D distance on this line with the help of the compass. Similarly, 5E. Similarly, 6F. So, up to here you have completed the outstroke. Now, it's turn for the return stroke. So, 0 dash to G. Next, transfer this distance 1 dash H with the help of the compass. Next, 2 dash I. Next, 3 dash J. Next, 4 dash K. Next, 5 dash L. Now here, flat face follower is given to you. So you have to draw the line passing through this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L which is perpendicular to this blue line. That means it is like that. Keep in mind this red line is perpendicular to the corresponding blue line and that you can do with the help of the protector. Similarly for the return stroke. And the length of this line is generally 1 cm on both side of this blue line. Now, draw the smooth curve which is the tangent to these all red lines. And then from 6 dash to 0, it will be the R and that you can do with the help of the compass. So this is the cam profile. So take care in the examination. In the displacement diagram, this line, this line, this line and this line only should be dark and the remaining work should be light. Similarly for the cam profile, only the cam profile should be the dark. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.